Hey guys, Running Kimono here. I hope you're all doing great. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 20% um, off of 40. I did a quick deal. It'll be at the end of the video. Along with this, um, well, it was supposed to be today, Tuesday, September the 10th, um, the summer, spring, and back to school stuff was supposed to be, um, the stuff that was tagged, it was supposed to hit 90% this morning. However, um, today's announcement, there's an announcement tomorrow. It's actually Wednesday, September the 11th. Um, so whenever your store opens, um, look it up online, figure out a time to head out there first thing. Now I do know in Florida, the date for 90% was today, but here in the Midwest and California and other stores, people that have been chatting with me, North Carolina, everything's still 70%. So I would wait, uh, go to Walgreens tomorrow morning and start to pouncing on some of these deals. We're going to go through a couple of stickers, a couple of deals, just to give you the balance of how much uh, things actually cost and how to shop this 90% clearance event. Okay, so this is a sale sticker and it says 70% off. Um, so the product is a floaty and because um, it says um, H2GO, the 6 by 27 meter, you can read it at the bottom. And the regular price is $6.99. At 70% off, it's $2.09. But what would it be at 90%? Well, it would be exactly 69 cents um, because you're taking it off the regular price. You're not taking it off the 70% price. That's not how the sale works. Um, you have to take it off the regular original um, unit price. So that's how I'm getting the math for a lot of this because I think a lot of you will get stumped up and think that, especially if your, your store is not tagged with the 90% stickers. And let's be honest, first thing tomorrow morning is probably not gonna be tagged. So that's how I'm getting the number. So hopefully you're following what I'm saying. And it's pretty easy to do this. So we're gonna go through a bunch of different examples um, to show you guys and stuff that I found at my store. I didn't photograph everything because I really didn't have time this morning. So this is the tag that I just showed you, this H2 Go. So it's just a floaty to like lay in your pool or go to the beach. So the original price for this guy is $6.99. So 90% of that is 69 cents. So that's just awesome. And also ask at your store, like, hey, is this happening? Hey, is this not happening? If you're really shy, bring a couple things up to the front and see what it's scanning for. We have this uh, Big Mouth Company. It's a little pool. The original price is $24.99. So it's down to $2.49. So there you have it. That's a really awesome price point for a pool as well for little kids. Keeps them busy all afternoon. But yeah, always ask around. I spoke to two different managers this morning and they told me, yeah, tomorrow morning be here first thing. We have these little um, floaty cups again by this company called Big Mouth just like me. Uh, $6.99, it's down to $0.69. Cents. What a drastic drop in prices. We have uh, this man with a big hamburger. Uh, this guy was $9.99, uh, the floaty, not the gentleman in the photo. Uh, so you pay $0.99. Cents. Specifically why this uh, big mouth company is a hot commodity for resellers. Just a quick look on Amazon, $17.99. So you'd pay $0.99. Cents. Throw it on eBay. There's a lot of profit to be made for various of these large floaties and this company's um, pool stuff. So you might want to keep an eye out for that, especially if you resell on Amazon or eBay. Okay, now we have this. It's called Just Add Water. It's some sort of like activity chalk thing for your kids outdoors. The original price for this guy is $5.99. Now it's dropping it down to $0.59. Cents. That's a really great price point. Especially if, you know, you have a lot of kids and this is like an activity they can do outdoors or grandkids or something like that, just a little gift or even a stocking stuffer. Even if you're living like, you know, Southern California, Texas, Florida, I'm sure kids would love this any time of the year. Okay, now we have this, again, this big mouth company and it's called a little float to put a little child in. Original price is $14.99, drops down to $1.49. So, I mean, this is just fantastic, especially if you resell on, um, you know, Amazon, eBay. And now this little Minnie Mouse water fan, super, super cute, $8.99, so it's down to $0.89. Cents. So if you might have a little one who doesn't do so well out in the extreme heat, uh, this might be something to grab for $0.89. Cents. And now we have um, my favorite, which is the bunch of balloons by this company. I think it's called Zara. Um, so these guys are originally $12.99. It's down to $1.29 tomorrow. So I know the red, white, and blue, like the patriotic ones were ringing up full price, but the multicolored fun ones were ringing up for $1.29. This is a very hot commodity, especially if you want to keep a bunch of them and resell them in the future. They will be flooded on eBay, Amazon, those sort of sites in the next couple of weeks because everybody's getting them for dirt cheap. But fast forward to next like March, April, 
Um, if you d list like a lot of them, you probably could get a lot. And this is for, like for one. So you're paying $1.29 and some of these people are making profits of up to $10 for one. So that's just a little food for thought. Now, if you can't track down the bunch of balloons, there's this other company called Chaos and they have these cylinders of balloons. It honestly could keep your kids busy all afternoon. Just the refill alone, it's $4.99. So it's down to 49 cents. And you've seen these before where you have like the pump in the bucket and it's a larger product. So they don't sell as well as the bunch of balloons online, but they're still, you know, people are still looking for them. And then for the pump itself, it's $9 and 99 cents. So you get the pump in this container and a bunch of balloons. So it would be down to 99 cents because the original price is $9 and 99 cents. Now going on to eBay really quick this morning, I did do a search and I could not find as much for this company called chaos. Um, again, in the next, like probably month, it'll be flooded with people who do reselling. They'll put their stuff online to try to, to turn a profit. But as you can see, the cylinders that were, I believe, 49 cents are selling for $9 and 99 cents. So just a little food for thought for you guys. Okay, uh, let's look at these little, um, it's like a little towel for kids, you know, when they go to the beach, they are $9.99. So they're down to 99 cents. It's that little pinky one um, in the photo to the far right. So that's the one that you would be grabbing. You know, that's a really great price point for um, a towel sort of thing. And now we have uh, the different balls. Uh, those little cheetah ones are down to 49 cents. I think most of these like Nerf like or outdoor stuff, pool balls or whatever like that for your kids, 4.99 down to 49 cents. Definitely something, you know, if you have a bunch of kids or grandkids, you just want to keep them busy. I'm sure they could play with that outdoors at least for an hour, you know. And uh, now we have um, outdoors, uh, these little um, pails with shovels and that cutesy stuff, $3.99. That's down to $0.39. Cents. Even if you wanted to repurpose it for like um, an Easter gift or something like that, or if you wanted to put a bunch of Christmas gifts in that, I think you can do a lot with those pails or even put your stockpile stuff in it, you know, if you are okay with cartoons. A lot you can do for $0.39. Cents. And then we have this swim school. Um, originally $12.99 is down to $1.29. A thing that you could supervise your toddler in. Um, so it looks pretty cute, you know, it looks like a, a safe thing, especially if you're just teaching uh, your, your toddler how to um, swim, that sort of a thing. And it, it looks like high quality as well, this product. Now just looking overall at the racks, um, so you'll probably find this stuff either at the front or in a specific place um, in the store. And um, if a cashier can help you out. Watch that cash register like a hawk that things are ringing up as such. If you're really not sure, bring one thing and ask, hey, could you scan this first thing in the morning and then just take it from there because possibly stuff will not be tagged first thing. I know they're really great over at Walgreens, but to tag like, you know, 200 different items in a store when they have to like worry about setting up and getting everything ready in the morning. Uh, that might not be the most priority thing on the list. So, um, but this is some information that you have tomorrow that if you can pounce at the store first thing, depending what your, the opening time is, you might be able to score a lot of stuff on the cheap. We have some goggles. Um, if you're a swimmer, you might go through a lot of these and these aren't like the worst brand of goggles either. Um, they didn't look like very cheap and some of them were nice. I used to swim, believe it or not, when I was a kid, like I used to be on a swim team back in the day. Um, so these guys are $8.99. So 90% uh, off would be 89 cents. Um, obviously you need a smaller one if you're like a professional swimmer. And they had those too. I didn't see any Speedos, but they, you know, if you needed something in a pinch, uh, it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, some of these price points on goggles. Um, and then we have these, some clothing. Um, I just, the sandals caught my eye. Um, 90% off of that tag, it's 40 cents. So even if you wanted to grab a bunch of them, if you live like in a really hot state, definitely this would be something to throw in, you know, hey, Merry Christmas, here's a pair of flip flops. I'm sure anybody would be really happy to get a pair of those. And then these little chalk and bubbles and like with the cartoons, these guys are $9.99 original price, so they're down to 99 cents. That's still a little bit out of pocket for this sort of product, but I'm sure if you weed through the stuff, I think there's a couple different Walgreens brands that are a lot less out of pocket, so you might want to grab those. And make a strategy tomorrow morning, guys, because um, people go really hard for the sale because there's so much stuff, especially if you're using points to pay for it that you can get. In the clearance section, I also saw a lot of these home goods, stuff that's just been around forever. And I'm not going to go through the pricing one by one for them. 
but you might want to get your cashier to scan something if something caught your eye. But tomorrow morning, guys, if you can get organized, um, get your stuff together, you know, get to the store first thing, because um, this stuff gets cleared really quickly. Have a strategy plan and uh, be super, super organized. So hopefully uh, the tutorial I gave you on the different prices will give you an idea of how this stuff works. But there are some steals and deals, especially if you live in a hotter state where you would use the stuff, you know, a lot. Definitely worth your time to head out to the store. Okay, talking about these Olay night creams again, guys. Um, I know that a lot of you are reporting that your stores, uh, the creams are a lot more out of pocket. So what I'm going to recommend, if they are a lot more out of pocket, just pass on it. It's easy. Um, but the coupon doesn't expire until um, November the 23rd. So another question I'm getting a lot in, this, in the comments is like, hey, how, when are they going to restock at my store? And the problem is I don't work at your store, so I don't know when the restock time is. But because the coupon is uh, valid, like what what are we today? September the 10th. So like you have two months to track these down. So um, definitely I would just, you can either ask them to order it yourself or you can just uh, wait on it, which is totally fine. And, and I believe to order this online, uh, they're out. So sorry, you're going to have to find it in a store. If you didn't understand the matchup that I had typed up there, because um, I'm not going to go through it line by line, um, I will link a video from Saturday at the very end. Please check it out because I go through it in excruciating detail. As you can see, my receipt here, um, the $10 coupon did in fact come off because a lot of you were saying, it's not working. You don't know what you're doing. And that's okay. Um, but there is a process to do this the right way. And we're going to go through it here in a quick second. Mrs. Empty Nester went and did it yesterday. As you can see where her finger is, boom, $10 came off. And she did this yesterday. Um, I think between yesterday and today, I've gotten about 15 messages messages from different ladies and gentlemen saying, hey, it's working. So um, just to remember a couple of things, you got to scan your card first. So your phone number has to be punched in or you got to scan your Walgreens store card first. Get the cashier to scan both products. If the cashier scans one and then keys the second one in, eh, ask her to he or she to scan both of them individually. Then if you have a paper 20% off of a regular price merchandise, you hand that paper Catalina booster over at this time or you might have it loaded to your store card. That's an either or. When the cashier presses the pay button at the very, very end when they're like, okay, that'll be blah, blah, blah. Um, Cause they'll see a price initially, but it's not till the very end when you actually have to pay like that last step. That's when all the coupons will aggregate. So you have to wait till the very end. And then if it's $10 more then you have to say, hey, I'm going to, I had a coupon that did not come off and then just take it from there. But um, you have to be a, a little bit patient here. And if you're just going to go in there scatterbrained and get them to scan everything and just really not pay attention, this deal specifically, you have to pay attention. It's not negotiable. And sorry if I sound like I'm coming down on you guys like a sack of hammers. That's not my intention. It's just you really have to pay attention. And for a lot of newbies out there who keep sending me the same questions, please read through the comments because I've tried to respond to as many people as I can. And you have to really focus uh, for this deal. You just cannot go on autopilot. Okay, so this is the final deal that we're going to talk about. I used the 20% off of 40 yesterday, the digital coupon, and it worked perfectly for me. Fantastic. And I always scan my store card first, get the cashier to scan all the merchandise, scan my IVC, and I was in business to get some massive savings. So I grabbed two Toffee Fae. I just wanted to try those to see how they would turn out with the, the 20% off. And I think they were free after the coupons and the 20% off. And then I grabbed one of these Nicorette lozenges that was not cheap. I have a brother who's trying to quit smoking, so I grabbed that for him. I know he'll most appreciate it. Now, this is the IVC coupon. You can either have it uh, loaded to your store card. You have the option in your digital coupon folder or you could scan it from the Walgreens booklet. As it says multi-brand, that is a Walgreens coupon. This is what the big book of savings looks like. Uh, free to take at the front of the store. If anybody's trying to sell you one of these books, never pay for these coupons. Stories on that from the past. Um, but this is what the coupon looks like if you want the cashier to scan it and it's found on page 32. Boom, scan that and $5 comes off instantly. And uh, this is what the digital manufacturer looks like. And below it, it says manufacturer coupon. It's a $10 off one of these larger products uh, to quit smoking. So here's the math of my deal, guys. I grabbed one of those Nicorette uh, lozenges for $46.99. 
Scan Mike's tour card first. Cashier scans the Nicorette product, $46.99. I scan the IVC coupon found in the um, September Big Book, along with having that $10 load to card manufacturer on there, plus $8.39. The 20% came off. I was left with paying $23.60 out of pocket. I used $20 in points right here. And because it is smoking cessation, it's not cigarettes, I can actually use 20 bucks in points. So I paid 320 out of pocket. Saving Star a couple weeks ago had a $10 rebate for that. But failing that you don't have the, the $20 of points to use, it would be $13.60 out of pocket. But for me, it was $3.60. And I think for something like this to quit smoking, it's a really good use of um, points to use. And again, I'm going to give this to my brother because um, I know that he would really appreciate it. I actually sent him an email yesterday and said, hey, what do you want? And he's like, oh, I want the lozenges. And just to show you a picture of my receipt here, and it went perfectly, as you can see, eight eighty six. Um, I got 46 cents off for those toffee face. So it was a little bit of um, overage situation for me. Something I wanted to do, win, lose, or draw, and it actually worked. And uh, anyhow, just a really great little deal here. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Um, tomorrow, I will definitely get my big old butt out to the store to do some of that clearance event, and uh, we will be in touch. Please tell me in the comments if it is or is not working in your region tomorrow morning on this video, and we will just share, share, share information and um, find a lot of deals and steals. That's it, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.